Welcome to Tiny Mike Tours. Hi everybody, my name is Lainey. I am a junior here at Rose and I'm also a tour guide here. So come with me as we look at some academic buildings. So we're currently in Hadley Hall. So Hadley is actually a hallway. It is this brown tile that you're looking at on the ground. No classes are actually here. It's just financial aid. Admissions is over there in the back. And then upstairs is all of our president's offices and such. So all the big wigs if you ever need to go up there. As we walk this way through Hadley, you're going to hit Olin. So Olin is our civil and our chemical engineering departments. Mostly civil is on the first floor. Chemical engineering is more on the second floor. But chemis do have this nice high bay laboratory. It's a two-story lab that chemical engineers use. We'll walk through here. Nice thing about Rose is that all our academic buildings are connected. So especially in the winter when you've got that wind chill, got that snow of Midwest weather, it's nice just to be able to run into one building and you never have to leave. And then this is a civil engineering hallway. We've got some environmental labs around here. They have concrete areas. This is also where they do some of their work with bridges and structures. So a lot of cool places are down this Olin hallway. We also have a lot of art as well. There's a fun fact that I learned on tour is that Rose Holman is Indiana's second largest art collector. So as a STEM school, we have a whole lot of art and it changes quarterly. So always be on the lookout for new stuff. One of the random fun facts about Olin is that one of our biology research labs is back here in the corner. Not necessarily sure why it's in the civil engineering department, but if you're ever interested in some lab areas for biology and biomedical engineering, you can look in here and see all the cool things that are happening. So when you leave old Olin, you'll go into new Olin. So new Olin was added after they built the original Olin building. This is just eight classrooms, not pretty major specific or anything like that. They usually just have one of your core classes like chemistry can be in here, any physics classes can be in here, or maybe some computer coding if you have that within your majors. Also, every academic building does have its own study space. The first one that we saw when we entered the tour was first for Olin, and then we have a second one in Olin, which is up here with a lot more natural lighting, if you're interested in that. All of our academic buildings are connected, but I wanted to get some sunshine, so here's Olin Hall, and we're heading over to the other half of our academic buildings. On the other half of our academic buildings, we start with our Cook Laboratory for Bioscience Research, AKA our greenhouse. So some majors work in here. If you wanna work in here for a club or just for some independent research, you can email the right people and they'll get you where you need to go. So we go down here, we're gonna hit one of our academic buildings. It's mostly for our math department. It's called CREPO. So our entire math department's in there. So any calculus, differential equations, any higher level math is all gonna be in there. A fun fact about Crapo is that all of their rooms don't have windows. So if you work great with no outside distractions and you love that non-natural light, get yourself in there. So, Okay, we are currently in Munch Hall. So Munch Hall is basically one long hallway. It's just a lot of floors. So we'll go floor by floor to see what departments are where and what amenities are everywhere. Right now on the bottom floor of Munch, we do have our Munch Cafe. So this is our academic cafe that's available with your student meal plan or your commuter meal plan. So you go in here, they have coffee, they've got tea, they've got snacks and small meals if you ever wanna get those. So if you're running back to back to classes and you just need a little something to get you through a lab or something, you can always grab something at Munch Cafe. So, Lainey, what is your favorite drink to get here at Munch Cafe? Munch Cafe, I'm a seasonal drink girl. So, in the fall, they had an autumn leaves latte. It was a normal latte with maple and hazelnut. It was so good. I would get it every week. So, there's a lot of different options. Whatever you want, they probably have it. Munch Cafe also has a lot of cool pictures. We have a homecoming bonfire on the left, a smokestack when Rose was Rose Polytechnic. This group right here is the first group of women that graduated from Rose in 1995 is when they actually came, but this was their cool first photo. They also have the time when someone, I don't know who, stole the subway sign off of the White Chapel. They took that down, don't worry, it's not here, but it used to be, and they put it on a wall forever and ever. And we just have some cool big competition teams. We've got some old airplane usage, and some of our processional for commencement once you graduate here from Rose. So a lot of cool history up on the walls if you ever want to check it out. Okay, so now we're currently in the first floor of Crapo, which is connected to Munch Cafe. It's literally right there if you take a peek. So over here is our math department offices on this side of Crapo. So you can always check to see what professors are in the department. And if you know their office hours, that's also great. So you can come in and just get any questions asked. 
in addition to office hours, most professors have an open door policy. So if they're free, they sometimes keep their door open if they have nothing else to do. And you can walk in and be like, hey, you know, I had a question or something. So. Okay, now we are transitioning from the bottom floor of Crapo to the bottom floor of Munch. So Munch, like we said, does have the Munch Cafe. It also has a vending machine room if you're not wanting to use a student meal plan or if you don't even have one. So if you ever need to grab a little snack, this is a vending machine room. It's got seating and everything. So take a break from classes, grab a drink, grab a snack, get some study fuel. We go into the bottom floor of Munch. This is our FOE department, so physics and optical engineering. So we also have our graduate department here. So here's some of our grad students that we have here. Usually graduate degrees are primarily in engineering management, but we have had some civil engineering graduates and I think they're expanding to a couple other graduate studies. So with our FOE department, all of the professors are usually down some of that hallway, like the department head and such. So physics and a couple math professors are down there haphazardly, not sure why. Also your physics labs will be down here. General physics, like physics one, two, three, you'll meet down here. It's usually every other week. So you can go into here and make sure you're wearing your proper equipment to be in a physics lab. So you mentioned there's lots of study spaces here on campus. What is your favorite study space? I feel like it differs all the time, but I think my all-time favorite is in the NAB, our new academic building, which will go that way in a little bit. So I'll point out the booth that oh, I live by. Once you get there, you don't you don't leave. <laughs> okay, we've made it on to the next floor up from Munch Hall. So technically this is the first floor. It connects to the second floor of our new academic building. So in short, it's a little weird elevation-wise, but stay with me, you'll be good. Down on this hallway, this is our electrical engineering, computer engineering, and mechanical engineering. So a lot of big engineering places. Every engineering major does have their own study space. So you're looking at mechanical engineering right there. It's pretty nice and souped up. A lot of labs are down here. So you can see some lab areas that people may be having class in. This is an electrical circuits lab, I'm pretty darn sure. So most electrical engineers, computer engineers can come in here for their lab sessions. This hallway right here starts most of your mechanical engineering professors. Some are a little bit scattered, but the majority of them are on this L-shaped hallway. So for you Emmys, if you ever need to talk with someone, whether that be for research, whether that be for just a passion or a concentration you may have, you can come down here and find some office help. And then at the end of this hallway, we do have some mechanical engineering awards and the department office. So you've got your department head in there, all of the assistance and stuff that you might need, and all of the professors are actually on this wall. Okay, so we are on the other side of Munch now, more near the Crapo side, but this is where our ECE department is, so electrical computer engineering. All your professors are here, along with your department head, and any help that you might need. Here's the professor board if you're ever wanting to take a peek. Okay, now we'll go up the stairs. We are now on the second floor of Munch. It's the topmost floor. So this is computer science and software engineering there in this back corner. So all your professors are here along with your computer labs. So if you ever need to go in here, you can take a peek in here. There's actually two. This is one of them. So don't worry, there's another one. We also have a cool research posters up on the wall. So another thing to look forward to if you're in the CSSE department. And there's more professors down there and another computer lab, but this way goes to the rest of Munch. So this is the top floor of Munch. This has got our skylight, which personally is one of my favorite places to look at. Okay, with this top floor of Munch, like I said before, the skylight is beautiful. There's also study spaces that they've newly renovated. So if you ever wanna come study up here, If you look down there, down those staircases, that's the grow wall that we were in front of at the very beginning along with Munch Cafe. So in relevance to where we are now, this, most of this top floor is biomedical engineering and biology. So all of these little baby hallways have got all your professor's offices. One of our biology labs is actually up here. If you ever need to get some biology and biomed help, this is where you go. There's the department head and the department professors. 
Okay, so now we are on the back side of Munch. So this is where our humanities department is. So we are a STEM school, but you do have to take nine HSSAs. HSSAs is humanities, social sciences, and the arts. So we have a lot of options at Rose. All of these professors are only humanities. So it's not like you're getting some random chemistry prof who also teaches a language. You have these people who are specializing in humanities alone, which is absolutely amazing. So they have languages. We have Spanish, German, and Japanese. Econ is a really big one any film literature drama courses those are all available along with some art stuff and a lot of other things that i'm forgetting right now so go check out the website if you're ever interested um what was your favorite humanity course you've taken or favorite humanities <sighs> professor here at rose holman I haven't taken a lot of humanities here. Um, I have taken a lot of Spanish because I do have a Spanish minor. So Spanish for engineers was pretty darn cool because I got to do my own presentation on a passion that I really enjoyed. So mine was the recycling of polystyrene, which is styrofoam, and I had to do it completely in Spanish. So trying to make my passion of engineering translate into Spanish was really weird. Okay, now we are back still on that nice little skylight area of Munch. As we walk out of Munch and into our new academic building, you will see our chemistry department. So chemistry department and biochemistry, can't forget that one. Department head is on the right, and all your professors are down here on the left. Conveniently, they've put the chemistry department right next to all of our chemistry labs. So our chemistry labs are pretty darn new. This is a new academic building, so we call it the NAB because we're very original here at Rose. So we can go around here and see some labs also right over here we've got a pre-lab room so in most of the general chemistries you'll go into this pre-lab room over here and see oh this is what you're gonna be briefed on by your professor make sure you know what's going on for the lab because labs here are three-hour time chunks sometimes you won't use all that time but you might here's a example of a pre-lab room so you'll come in here without your safety goggles and everything and they'll make sure you know what you're doing and then you'll go into lab and put that ppe on that personal protection equipment so we're currently going down the nab so we're on the third floor we're going down to the second while we go down we have this really cool light wall that can change different colors i think you can also program it to change colors it changes based on whenever people feel like it so the second floor of the nab is not major specific when you look at the nab usually this is just a catch-all for humanities classes you might have here some leadership based classes are here and just some other random ones that they like to put in here a lot of the nab classrooms are group work based so they have little team areas that each have their own tv that you can present to so especially with group work classes this is a great space just to collaborate and make group projects just a little bit easier also, you can't forget my favorite place to study in the entirety of Rose Holman are one of these booths over here in the NAB. So you can't reserve these, you just have to get them first come first serve, but when you get them, you don't let them go. Also at the end of the NAB, there's rooms that you can reserve. They're a little smaller, around three to five people. We call them breakout rooms. They are awesome. Okay, so we've made it to the first floor of the NAB. Majority of the NAB on the first floor is a lot of study space that you can work on by yourself or just with a friend. There's also a couple design labs. So you're looking at one right here. Usually these are for biomedical engineering majors, use them a lot. I've seen some of the people in our electrical and computer engineering majors use them for circuits. But usually you'll know if your major uses one of these design labs. <clears throat> As we go in near this back end, the design lab for our engineering design majors are here. So they do more of the creative design process and they do less of like the industry of engineering. So when you look in there, they're usually designing things using AutoCAD and just doing all the fun creative things that I cannot do. So on top of these like study rooms, I keep seeing these like conference rooms all over. Um, what exactly do you use those for? These little fishbowl looking things. So these are conference rooms you can reserve if you have a little bit bigger of a group. So I'd like to use them if my professor cancels class and I have a friend group that we just might want to watch a video together. Or you can use them for final studying. A lot of people like to do that where they just get a group together and they just study whatever final they may have, even if they all don't have the same one. 
Okay, so we've entered our final academic building here at Rose. This is Myers Hall. So Myers is a catch-all for a lot of different areas, whether that be biomedical engineering, our statistics department is here if you ever want to get a statistics minor. A lot of our engineering physics labs are here. So when you're looking on this side, orthopedic biomedical lab is here. We've got a high-speed, high-performance electromagnetics laboratory. So if you ever have ideas to just work in here, you are more than welcome to. High-speed photonic devices and systems is over here. So again, a lot of research. We'll go this way. Hello, hello. What we're nearing is this weird yellow box. So this is our MINES clean room facility. So this is MINES stands for Micro Nanoscale Devices and Systems. Okay, finally, on the back end of the Myers Hall, we have study spaces here. Our biomedical engineers have their tissue laboratory here. The art studios upstairs if you're ever pursuing an art minor and take some art classes. Like I said, our statistics department is upstairs. You'll have to take engineering statistics or even more if you're a math major or a data science minor. And otherwise, I think there's a lot of classrooms in here. I know that some people have normal physics classes in here. Some people have some statics or other mechanical engineering classes here. So just some basic classrooms you can also reserve if you ever need to have a meeting back here or have a final study room. Okay, and we've just walked from Munch to Hadley, so you have finished a complete tour of the academic buildings at Rose. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to any Rose Holman admission staff. They'll be more than welcome to help you. I hope you enjoyed this tiny mic tour and stay tuned for some more that are coming up on the YouTube.